like a carrot. Now it's nice and good because it's actually countering both aggro demon hunter as well as a bunch of the warriors, and it's decent against the warlocks too. So you can definitely climb some easy ranks with play DK if you know how to play it. In this video, I'll go over the deck, show its mulligans, win rates, as well as some general tips so you have a better idea of how to play with and against this deck. So if you're serious about Hearthstone, drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to get back for some Hearthstone coaching. Now let's check out the deck. Not prepared. Okay, so this is the deck we're using, and it's actually performing quite well in top 1000. Well, let's face it, that's not quite well, but uh, then again, not many decks are performing super great in top 1000 legends. So yeah, the main thing that Rainbow DK go has going for it right now it is it's countering aggro demon hunters nicely, as well as uh, warriors out there, because we're also running some of that plague action with Helia, as well as a couple of... Uh, down with the ships, and also we have two runes of darkness, which more often than not discover you some of that plague weapon action. We have a couple of glacial shards in here so you can control the opponent's face better, including uh, aggro demon hunters so they cannot get their shoppers quickly, you can use this against Odin warriors if you manage to find some, you can definitely use this against uh, ignis weapons and whatnot, or you can just straight up freeze a big minion. Miracle salesmen are nice and good so you can actually draw better, it's also a 2-2 two -two on one so nothing to scoff at, a couple of dark runes, like I said you mainly want to be discovering the plague uh, weapon, but if you're against aggro demon hunters, god no, you're gonna be lo looking for more quartz sized crushers. Uh, so yeah, these are the two main weapons you're gonna be looking for in most cases, but if you don't get off or any of those, you're probably screwed. Threads of Despair is a pretty nice card actually, and you could basically defile the opponent's board very well with the help of things like crop rotation or army of the dead if you're uh, really in a pinch, but you gotta be smart about how you're gonna position this thing so you can actually clear the entire board. Uh, the cool thing about this card is it actually waits for the death rattles to also activate, so if there's a small minion that has a death rattle summon another minion, you are gonna start damaging the other minion as well if you've planned accordingly. And also another really cool thing you could be doing with your sickly grimwalker and with just the hero power and threads of despair is you can make the one mana ghoul that has threads of despair and poisonous that actually is a full clear like that which i wasn't really aware of but it's a very very strong way of actually dealing with some very early boards including even uh stealthed zilliaxes by the way like you can poison as soon as turn six like that which is kind of late against zilliax honestly but uh, in some cases it actually might save you big time couple of down with the ships so you can get more plagues into the opponent. Uh, you could even make the opponent not Highlander even without Helia if you're lucky enough and they don't start top decking those plagues. Couple of Hematurges in here as well and you can discover some pretty nice uh, control cards. They're only gonna be giving you blood cards as long as you uh, have a corpse already. And this is usually not a turn 2 play so don't hold it in your uh, mulligan unless you already have a good one drop you want to be sacrificing. Or just be okay with playing it on turn 3 after at least a hero power or something like Mining Casualties. Mining Casualties is pretty nice because if you tempo this on turn 2, you could even follow up with Acolyte of Death on turn 3 and still draw a couple of cards easily like that while controlling the opponent's minions. Uh, you could also do the same with Sickly Grimwalker, but uh, that is probably not going to be happening as soon as turn 3 in most cases at least, even though in some matchups it might. Acolyte of Death gives you tons of card draw and you have several different ways of drawing tons with it, like I said Mining Casualty is great, Crop Rotation is obviously amazing, just your hero power is also fine, or you could have also uh, stuck some undeads beforehand as well. Uh, you could also do it as soon as turn 8 or 7 with the coin with the help of Army of the Dead. Uh, so yeah, it's a very nice draw engine for you and it helps you find your core pieces faster. Crop Rotation hella nice, best case scenario is you use this with your Acolyte of Death or with your Sickly Grimwalker or with both. Another case scenario would be with Threads of Despair like I said it works wonderfully because it's basically 4 damage AoE plus 1 extra damage because you get to attack with one of the idiots before all of them die. Uh, so yeah, very very nice card and I do like keeping it a lot of the times in my mulligan as well because it's such a clutch card to be using, even uh, just a clear early game card draw like... Uh, uh, gold banner or the 0-2 totem that draws, it could be good enough and it also generates you tons of corpses so it can activate your runes of darkness faster or your hematurge. Hell yeah, obviously no brainer in here. I mean not no brainer in here, we did see a lot of uh, rainbow decks out there without running hell yeah, but now in the current meta with all the Highlander warriors mainly, with uh, wheel warlocks, hell yeah definitely does uh, fit nice and good into the decks. She only has a single rune attached to her, so it's very easy to slap her in the rainbow decks. Uh, so very, very nice card still. Usually always a keep in the mulligan as well. 
Uh, we skipped over the Sickly Grimwalker, but uh, it's just an amazing card. You could even tempo it out as soon as turn 3 on an empty board. Your opponent is basically going to have to spend their turn dealing with this before they can actually stick something meaningful themselves. Uh, so don't be afraid of actually tempoing this thing as soon as turn 3. Because uh, this allows it to just hero power whatever the hell the opponent plays next turn and still be coming out ahead with a 2-4 on the board. Ma and Pa, pretty nice corpse generation as well as health generation. This could be hella fine for you against things like Sif Mage, let's say. It's gonna get you out of harm's way, at least for a little bit. Like you are gonna uh, force them into building a bigger combo against you. Or you could just use it to generate 5 corpses, which is also not bad couple of quartzite crushers straight up in this one. Uh, don't forget this thing also gives you lifesteal, so this is basically uh, 4 mana heal for 9, deal 3 damage and freeze the opponent's face most of the time, because that's what you usually use it for. Uh, but you could also uh, use it to kill some meaningful minions like gold panners and card draws and things like that, or even just freeze something big for a turn. It might make some sense in some niche scenarios, but usually you want to be freezing aggro demon hunters, as well as uh, war warriors, as well as anybody that has a big Ignis weapon lined up. Uh, just don't forget that freezing the opponent's face doesn't mean they're not gonna be able to attack you if they have a hero card, like Reno in most cases. Like, only cases, unless it's a mirror. That's the only hero cards in standard, right? Uh, so yeah, don't feel too uh, protected just by freezing the opponent's face, especially if you're against an Odin warrior. They literally can LTK you still with only two mana left with the help of... Uh, the zero mana gain six, the two rock stars, and uh, nonsense like that, especially if they had some discounts going. Army of the Dead, pretty nice card. Uh, it spends you corpses. It also sticks a bunch of tutus, so you can definitely tempo this thing out as soon as turn four against certain opponents, they, and they can actually not uh, handle it. It's five mana, 10 10 with rush. Definitely nothing to scoff at. Just don't forget these things do not leave uh, corpses after they die. So uh, if you have those in your. Uh, uh, math to actually regain some corpses for something else, you're not getting any. They're basically uh, uh, just spending the corpses without giving them back. The Headless Horseman is pretty decent. Um, it destroys the biggest attack enemy. The biggest attack minion, not enemy. The hero is also an enemy, so that don't work. Uh, but yeah, you can definitely snipe off something meaningful this way, including Stealth Zilliax, so that can be hella good against those Zilliax rogues out there. Uh, and it also gives you a new hero power, which is both good and bad, because you're no longer going to be able to have a 2-mana 1-1 one, one idiot to get poison on, or to get card draw from, or just to straight up get corpses from, but you are going to get free damage on a stick. And if you find your, hel uh, and if you find your head, you're also going to start uh, generating some good minions in your hand, so you can actually uh, uh, not lose too much uh, tempo and value like that. So uh, all around pretty good thing. And again, don't forget this also unfreezes you. So uh, if the opponent actually freezes you so that you can't freeze them with your quartz size Crusher, you might actually just play, play the Headless Horseman and unfreeze yourself and still freeze the opponent back. Primus is pretty nice right now. You usually want to be using it to suck a big minion so you can get the biggest amount of health possible. But a lot of the times nowadays it's actually more beneficial to summon a couple of free free taunts with the Reborn because that's also hella fine. And uh, don't forget you can also discover Helia through this. Uh, if you use the Unholy Rune, because Helia has a single Unholy card right now. So that can be super good as well. Our Zilliax in here is Summon a Copy plus uh, the Perfect Module, so you can actually heal a bunch. Uh, and that can uh, take you out of some tight spots. Climatic Necrotic Explosion. This is not a finisher, guys. Get it for your... I mean, it is a finisher, but you're not supposed to deal 30 damage with this. Uh, you're literally not even capable, honestly, unless you like stick Ma and Pa like, forever. Uh, but yeah, this is basically a 10 mana, uh, heal a decent amount, deal a decent amount of damage, maybe even on an opponent's minion if it's, he's threatening lethal against you. And also summon a bunch of idiots on the board, which they don't do anything, but they're uh, nice and big usually, and they're gonna be staring the opponent nice and menacingly like that. But they don't have rush or taunt or anything like that, so they're kinda not super super amazing in those turns, but they can still be posing a meaningful threat as long as the lifesteal and damage get you out of harm's way from the current board situation. And lastly we have a Reska in here. Uh, don't be an idiot like me, and actually if there's only two minions on the board, make sure Reska kills one of the minions if you want to guarantee stealing the other one. Um, you can also uh, straight up play Reska on the board and kill her yourself with uh, something like the Headless Horseman Hero Power or down with the ship if there's a single minion against you, let's say a Stealth Zilliax. 
that can be hella good play. Or you could just straight up use her uh, normally and just steal something on a whiteboard and then decide what you're doing with the rest of your turn. She's also an undead, so you could make her poisonous and you could also draw an extra card with Acolyte, so keep that in mind as well. Matchup-wise, here's what the stats show. Not that much stats, obviously, but like I said, you're great against Chopper Demon Hunter and you're far better against Highlander Warrior as well because you are basically running laps around them. Uh, this is in Legend only. Uh, here's from Diamond to Legend. Yeah, the Warrior matchup a bit better here. Honestly, it's a lot better than that. Like, very hard to lose this as long as you never find your Hellia. In that case, you might not win it, but as long as you find some of the play cards, you should still be fine. Wheel Warlock is still gonna be a pain, Zarimi Priest not so hot, Rainbow Mage as well, Zilliax Rogue apparently is not great either, and Spell Token is under 50, but the rest looks decent. As for the Mulligan, here's what the stats show going first. Mining Casualty is always gonna be great, Miracle Salesman's nice, Mon Paw on Tempo ain't bad, depending on the opponent down with the ship might be good, same goes for Runes of Darkness, like you're if you're really looking for those plague weapons nice and early, uh, keeping Runes of Darkness is gonna help. Helia, depending on the opponent, is usually always gonna be a keep if you're against a warrior. Against other classes, you might think about it a little, but usually she does uh, really, really nice things for you, so having her is usually better than not having her. Depending on the opponent, if you're against Aggro Demon Hunter, definitely would like to be keeping the Glacial Shard. If you're not against uh, those, however, you might consider dropping it. Acolyte of Death is also not that bad, and like I said, crop rotation is nice and flexible too. As for on the coin, situation is not that much different. I would never keep Zilliax, and 99.6% would never keep it either. So uh, these stats are not exactly your friend here. Always double check. If something looks weird, there's a good reason for it. And yeah, nobody in their right mind is going to be holding on to a 9 mana Zilly. Same goes for Reska, honestly. And uh, same goes for Primass. But the rest uh, of these stats look uh, pretty decent. That's about it for the deck. Far from cheap. Uh, this is inflated though. It's only 7 legendaries. Because Zilliax is counted for 2 legendaries nowadays. Because that's a thing. Yeah, you have 2, 4, 6, 7 plus Zilly. So yeah, only 7 legendaries, 0 epics. So if you have most of these, you can definitely try this deck. That's gonna be it for the guide. Hope this helps you out. And now let's check out some of my games on my road to top 500 legend with it. Hope you enjoy. Um, I've seen the Zerimi Priest. Not sure if it's the same Zerimi we're talking about. But yeah, I'm aware of its effect on people. Um, not sure we want this. I could tempo this thing, especially with this guy out. Okay, turn one, he plays something. No, I'm not gonna hold on to it. I'll need to control it. I'm gonna hold on to this for a turn free freeze. Okay, the weapon's in the house, so this guy ain't swinging much. I love to see it. Doesn't have a two drop, a two two that is. That always helps. We're gonna be holding on to the glacial shark. For now at least. Let's see how that goes. Okay, this guy uh might be the the shooter variant. Have to wait and see. Maybe I could have wasted the glacial shark just because we have both the weapons here. Let's see though. Yeah, I'm gonna start freezing them, I think. Good news is this thing heals me back and whatnot. Let's let's see what this guy has to say for himself. Neat. Let's start freezing that mouth. It ain't attacking no more. None of that nonsense anymore. Problem is the quartz size crusher gets countered by his glacial shark, so that's a bummer. That's a bit of a bum bum. Price on that. I will be full health.
Technically, I could full clear if I hero power mining casualties play this thing. I'll do that. That actually is not a full clear. Oh, it is, okay. How did it go a full clear, by the way? Yeah, there were four minions to die, sure. Okay, heal him back nicely. Now we have some corpses to work with too for this thing to work. Sun Temple is not that hot. Matter is that. I guess I'll just do this for now. I'm assuming these guys don't really run Vipers, right? Surely they don't run Vipers. Surely. I can freeze him up until turn 10, maybe 11 if we get this guy in the mix. Didn't hero power there, that was a wee bit weird. Let's keep on getting some of them corpse actions. Let's see if there's a red card involved. Good news is this thing also life steals, so does this, so... I'm still afraid of him being able to OTK me though. I do believe he is running the... I mean, is he actually... If you're running ball hog, are you still uh, the shooter shit? Hmm. Yeah, he did red card it. Sucks to be me, I guess. No whiteboards for us. Okay. Slap that with a strike, I guess. That I'm bruh. Could give me more crushers. Let's see this first. No crusher, sadly. It's not amazing, that's for sure. Now let me get back to full base play. Give me some of them corpses again. Maybe I should have played Army of the Dead, but no, I really don't have the, the audacity to do that right now. So this thing can amp up. Yeah, I don't think it's sharpshooter actually. Or is it? It's Highlander, maybe. Two Chaos Strikes and a Highlander, though? Really? I think he shouldn't be able to, like... He could have a Glacial Shard for my face. Gladly I'll unfreeze myself with this thing, though. Another ball four. Okay, time to spend some of these corpses in it. Would have been nice if we had another weapon discovered out of that Runes of Darkness, but it had to be this thing. That's something. Okay, we have 8 on the button. Good. 
would heal us nicely. It's also gonna fill the board with four fives. He shouldn't really be capable of dealing with that nonsense. Might be crazy enough to work. Another red card. We've created a oh, that. It's gonna play at full price. Okay, I guess. Something. Can I get a hell? Yeah. I could and I did, but is that good? Wondering if I should play this, this, and hero power his damn mouth. That's gonna give me uh, 10 damage across two turns. The alternative would be with this guy and this thing. I think this is safer. Yeah, this is safer. We're also spending a bunch of corpses this way. So yeah, let's, uh, I should have done this first, but actually no, because I kind of meant uh, spending the corpses, so that was not exactly a misplay. I have nine. If he actually freezes my damn mouth next turn, I won't be able to attack, but I have a feeling he doesn't have it. So let's go ahead and uh, transform. Slap him like it's hot. Basically get as far away as potential lethal out as I could. Have this thing sitting at nine. If he top back the plague, he has one left. He would have been exactly dead like that. Right now we have 14 damage showing from us. That's not a plague. Neither is this. Is he gonna freeze my damn mouth? Don't. GG then. Okay, that was pleasant. Who knew freezing the opponent's face for seven turns is beneficial to us? Certainly not me. Okay, that went swell. It's always nice beating on the aggro demon hunters, isn't it? Gotta love it, gotta love it. He was certainly not Mecterodon deficient, that's for sure. He was not even uh, Rag. You're not Rag, you're a Lich King. Will serve me in death. That's pretty nice. I think I'm not gonna hold on to the Hematurge though. Um, I mean, the runes are also not that amazing, are they? Then again, with Helly already in the hands, shuffling even more plagues should be beneficial, and Acolyte of Death probably will be beneficial too, we'll see. I'm gonna straight up rip this turn one because we don't have a great turn one anyway. And turn two is also looking misty. Okay, he has that plus kept the cards. Hopefully not exactly hell yeah. Second acolyte. Okay, we found the thing, so we have something to do next turn. Turn after we coin out this thing. Could maybe freeze his damn mouth so he doesn't shuffle me too hard. He's banging me hard. He either has the second weapon or he has Helia straight up, and I think it's Helia straight up. Okay, I can freeze his stupid face. And I can face his stupid face still. Good news we didn't top deck any ice. I mean, we didn't get any ice shards. Oh, that's what you have? What's that mean? Get this thing gone, sitting with a 4-4 on the board is definitely great. And next turn I can down with the ship plus kill his Helia if he has one. Okay, five plagues already in his body. It's gonna be seven real soon. Okay, he's straight up plague decay in this economy. What are the odds? The snake in your okay, takes it like a man. Go 
got the plague. That's actually nice before Hestelia. He does have a rush idiot in there. Maybe as the 6-5. Not sure if I need to waste this right now. I will, but I'll save the weapon, I think. Two unholies. Kinda wish it was frosties, but I guess the unholies can also play again nicely. Let's try to have sickly plus hero power for some decent removal. Potential 6-5 on curve. That ain't it. Maybe I'll go with Accolade of Death hero power then. We have two of them anyway, so why not? Now you can be a piece of shit. One more death can't hurt. Let's see if we can find ourselves a plague for him. Nope. Okay, first of many. Eight plagues in there after all. Let's start seeing him. There's that rush idiot. Mm, it could. I'm actually not absolutely sure about that. Okay, I think a poison man is in order here. This thing. I guess he's trying to get double down with the shit. But yeah, it is a spell. At least you could draw it as a spell, so I'm assuming it should get doubled too. So that would be a bummer for him. That much has been said. Okay, that's a little bit lame, but it is what it is. A little bit of that crap rotation would be lovely right about now. Freeze his damn mouth. We'll freeze his damn mouth, get a little bit of healing. Let's get one of these fools off. But maybe I should have actually poked the one too. Don't have a great way to deal with it anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Oh no, chief. Okay, this can pan out lovely. My blood for the Corpse explosion is crazy enough to work right about now. Okay, climatic explosion is going nice and good. There you go. Some of that action happening. More of that, please. How's it going, Danny? Welcome. Sure. It's mildly annoying. Good news we can poison it. Bad news is he's gonna heal back to full. At least my 2 2 alive gives me a little bit more card draw with this thing. Neat. Oh, even more. Let's fucking go. That feels good. I think I'll just do this and that then. One less room, but it's as good as it gets. So 
Well, I'm done, minion. So comes back divine shield pump, damn. Yeah, a crap rotation, pretty nice. Got eight damage showing there. One more death can't hurt. Sure. Of course, man. Wow, that's a two drop if I ever saw one. That right there's a two drop, Chief. These are all dog shit. That's hella bad, dude. Seriously. Trying to suck real hard with the Prime Ass. My plagues apparently don't exist. I have eight in there. He has four, but we're somehow a lot better than, than him in the top deck. And I'm, I mean, we did draw quite a lot more than he did, but still. It's only four elementals. He does have a couple in there, though. We only need one. Okay, one less plague in there. Could go with this thing into that thing. Reska. Will she it? In that case. Let's do that then. Okay, this freezes all the free attack idiots. I have to kill the donkey man. Nice. Well, aside from it killing the, the plague idiot, that was as good as I could have hoped for. Okay, that could help. Well, he has a single blood plague in there. We're sitting at 12 here, a little bit too low, but he does not have Necrotic Explosion at least, so that's fine. Okay, that's a big man, but not that big for my suck. Not that big. Of course we're getting the plagues after all. What else would we get? We're screwed. Hmm. Ooh, to burn. It's over, right? I 
I'm gonna try with the suck here, and if that doesn't give me the... This one mana... What's his face? Hella fucked. And it didn't give me that. Nah, it's over. Let's see the plague's failing us. But yeah, couldn't do it. Sad. That was weird. Seriously, this man could have top decked a lot more of those plagues after all. We had 8 plagues in him since the beginning of the game, basically. But he was so good at not top decking him, guys. He was such a gamer. Against the warrior. This should be fun. Chopper Tony, I remember that name. I'm gonna hold on to the Acolytes. There she is. The girl of the hour. Well, he's conceding on turn 3. Don't believe me, just watch. Did it. Just get the cat out, or not. Okay, let's play the money maker. Wait, yeah, I'm gonna actually kill this thing so he doesn't bash her. Still, probably gonna try and see if. Uh, he remains Highlander till Brand comes into play. Okay. Ain't a bash, still kills her though. If he kills it, that's gonna be actually good for me so I can play my room. Go tempo this pull out. Also waste this thing. The freeze is probably gonna be important later too, but for now we can just freeze his face so a weapon doesn't get involved and whatnot. He hasn't forged yet, so sanitize don't do shit. Is he gonna get lucky? Okay, forge the sanitize for next turn, perhaps. Just do this. There you go. And maybe now he concedes. Annoying, but it's fine. Let's see what this thing says. Figure it out. Dodge, it's happening. Okay, yeah, it's lovely against the warriors. It's decent against the aggro demon hunters too. Another warrior. Keep him coming, keep him coming. Big money, big money. Let's see that hell ya, shall we? I mean, here. Gonna have to dig deeper. Now with the shit still important. But I'll throw everything else. Nope, not this time. We did get some card draw. Both of these idiots again and the starting hand though. What is up with that? Like, can we not? Close, but it's no hell yeah. Okay. 
Looks like a decent enough down with the shit. Still Highlander, however. We got lucky with the second down with the shit, and that actually lands on both of these. That would be very, very nice. Okay, another down. Police. Nope. Another horseman, though. Is that hot? Not that hot. Neither of them are hot. I guess this guy can draw for zero as soon as I equip the quartz. Slap him this thing. Someone there. Just looking for them plagues, huh? And them brands. I found the plague, so maybe this denies him the brand next turn, but he could still play a one drop, costing him two right now as well. He could even play a zero man against six armor and break it like that. Just forges. If he's gonna hold the zero for next turn, time will tell. See what happens like this. Okay, doesn't have the zero, doesn't play the brand. Kelly off the top would still be amaze balls. He did throw away the forge car. Oh, he did have the goggles. Guess he didn't have the brand. He actually drew the same forged card again. Hell yeah, muy importante in this one, guys. Okay, this is gonna help me make him un Highlander potentially. Can maybe equip the weapon, play this guy. It's probably gonna be better later. My rule is eternal. That's about it for now. If these guys actually live, we could draw a bunch with the Acolyte. He's not Highlander right now, lucky us. We drew, gave him two Unholies there. Okay, that's why I held on to this thing, by the way. We could get in danger from a big Wind Fury weapon soon, and being able to freeze him a bunch could help. He does have a Viper, though. We do have a Glacial Shark, though. Okay, gave me the card draw. Let's see if we can find Zerhelias. Can I has me Helias? Helia? Are you Helia? That's not Helia at all. If I coin this thing, we're gonna vastly overdraw. He did equip the weapon right now. I wonder if he went for a 5-drop. Probably didn't. But right now it would be pretty convenient for me to play this thing plus the Taunty Man. I think I'll do it. Where the hell are my runes, man? Rune me, dude. Wayne Rooney, where are ya? Second Hammerturge, hell yeah, those are the four cards I really want. Those are the four cards I really need. 
So this is my second Acolyte, so once it's gone, it's gonna be a lot harder for me to cycle. Okay, that gives me one more card draw. Okay, at least we got a room. Problem is, I kind of like my current weapon. And now you come, you piece of shit. Didn't find it anyway, huh? Could just grab his 5-5 five five right now with the Reska, but that's probably not hella smart. My rule is eternal. Hmm. I think I'll use this thing. Check one this full out. I will. I'll best get the mercy of the top deck for him not to find his unholy plagues. That was lucky. He is excavating, so holding on to Ruska is probably gonna be worth it. So I can cycle for rest for hell yeah a little. Who's ready for another round? Mm. Sadly, he's ready for another round, apparently. Okay, more of that cycle action. That ain't it. That ain't it. I should hold on to these mining casualties for... I mean, we do have crap rotation for that as well, but this should be easier for me to actually bang out. It's gonna be smaller though. I'll use it. I'll use it all here, up there, here. I'm gonna not straight up equip the next weapon, because... Uh, Viper. 7.7 7 chance for me to find my freaking Hellion now. Even bigger when we take into account the two snake oils, but not by much. That's a large man, might be time for me to headless. Or I could Reska. Let's see what happens though. Doesn't play the five drop, that's weird. Let's see if we can get more plagues into the mix. We can, and we will. Problem is I won't freeze his mouth though. I think I'm fine though. I think I'm fine. I'm gonna go like this. And uh, should I prime ass? Prime ass for a couple of tentacles. Could also just crap rotation hero power into it, but that would be a great way for me to deal with this with a big board later. My rule is eternal. Let's prime ass for a couple of taunty boys here. Kind of deny him his. Uh, What's his face? Um, more army? Or should I corpse? This thing. 
Okay, let's see. Let's see. Triple and holy in him, pretty good stuff. Who needs Holia anyway, apparently? Awfully quiet today, chat. How are you doing? What are you up to? Chilling in this wonderful Sunday, whatever the fuck it is for you. For me, it's afternoon, almost night. For a lot of you, it's gonna be morning and whatnot, huh? Okay, he's probably gonna execute it. Oh, what the hell? Created that. Love the full life. Grip stab weapon. Interesting. Hey, how's it going, Zadie? This draws him Zillia, is guaranteed, because he already played the other. There you fucking go. You took your sweet time, didn't ya? matter now you're here serve your king. wait what didn't I kill the fucking clown that was silly protecting a 2-1 definitely wasn't worth six life total but it's fine, he plays Zilli, we can play Zilli as well. But yeah, at this point this man's uh, game plan is into shambles. No Reno, no Bran. Small TNT shit. We are running laps around him. Doesn't do that. That only gives him a hero power. A good hero power, albeit, but still. He doesn't play the Zilly. I'm pretty sure he's trying his luck at uh, killing me through. Uh, a big Wind Fury weapon later. No Just do this and even play this man. It's not like he's gonna play anything too big against me. The only downside to this is I could have unfrozen my face if this guy is actually running. Um, glacial shard. Okay, that's something. There's that weapon I was talking about, so now it's time to freeze that map of his and get some of that rest action. Good thing we held it this long. Okay, decent target. I'm a fucking moron. What is wrong with me, bro? Why would I do such a thing? Ah, fucking moron, bro. Good thing as I still have time to recover, but goddamn, that was dumb as fuck. I guess this allows me to swing one more time with the plague instead, but that was dumb as bricks. All I have to do is damage it first so we can grab the 12er, guaranteed. 
But I had to fart all over this plane out, didn't I? Took a massive dump. Let's try I can steal a quart size into poison into crap. I haven't seen that in quite a while, combat fries. Like, if you're playing fast decks at least, it never really comes down to 20 minutes. If you're also playing control, like, what do you expect? You're asking for it. Right now, we are playing somewhat control versus exactly control, so yeah, slower games happen. Okay, and also Zilliot. Okay, and slap him for a tenner. Not much else, though. Shit, man. Crap rotation plus threads of despair, however. That allows me to also hero power, so this is always fine. Threads of Despair waits for the death rattle, right? Pretty sure it does. <laughs> Funny. Hopefully he doesn't have a Viper right now. Even if he does, we have this thing to recover from his big men. We're also healing decently. But yeah, that was a massive brain fart I did a couple of turns ago, isn't it? Wasn't it? A turn ago. Massive. Okay, that's a good amount of damage. Daddy, half his dex plagues now. Maybe more than half. A good fair bit. Freezing that mouth, pretty good. He does have a viper somewhere in there, though. This thing is gonna stabilize for us some healing action and whatnot. Sure. For sure, Z. I'm into that shit, bro. He doesn't gain armor, though. I think it's mine part time. What am I talking about, bro? Fucking idiot. <laughs> Fucking idiot. I'm so all over the place, huh? How's it going, Jadis? How are you doing? I think this is enough games for the Plague Dick. 
a hunter, a couple of warriors, the mirror was close. Yeah, I think I can make a video out of this. Let's do a quick little guide about it.